And CMS Grammar School has celebrated its 165th Founders' Day anniversary. According to Governor Babajide Songwolu, who was represented by the Secretary to the State Government, Barrister Bimbo Salu Hudain, the years have been impactful. The event's theme was Life and Time Will Not Delay. A correspondent Paul George reports. <laughs> The Cathedral Church of Christ in Lagos was packed for the Thanksgiving service. For decades, former students of CMS Grammar School had been gathering again. Their faces alight with excitement. The Lord Bishop, Diocese of Lagos Mainland, Right Reverend Babatunde Kolenso Akinkwelu Johnson, drew from Psalm 91 verse 1 and 2 to thank God for his protection over their lives. Meanwhile, Cyril Ogwekene, president of the Old Grammarian Society, expressed gratitude that the touch was being passed on successfully. Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2. Indeed, as the words of the psalm have rightly said, we gather today to celebrate God's faithfulness, not only in all our lives, but especially also His faithfulness in the life of CMS Grammar School. The benefits we have are in those that the school has uh, produced, in the things that God has done for us in the last 165 years, and in the generation that is coming after us. We we'll have confidence that will perpetuate beyond what we can see and our children after us will do better than we have done. Governor Babajide Sonwolu, ably represented, commended the school for producing outstanding alumni. Mr. Governor Babajide Olushala Sonwolu, in his acknowledgement of the fact that the CMS Grammar School is not just a 165 year old school like Metisela, it is a 165 years of impactful studentship, especially in education. And that's why we are hopeful that our children who are now in the school will do better than those that left. During a reception held afterwards, Bishop George Bako, a former Director General of the Federal Radio Corporation of Nigeria, FRCN, and the Nigerian Broadcasting Corporation, NBC, as well as an alumnus of the school felt nostalgic as he recalled his childhood experiences. Expressing hope for the country's future, he shared these sentimental reflections. Separately, the school principal, Ayokunle Jacob Oguyinka, expressed deep appreciation for the generosity shown by the school's alumni towards the institution. Some say there is a bit of noise, but we enjoy it even with a bit of noise. Because without noise, things don't go the way they should go with students. We thank God that he has used us in various ways to touch the heart of Nigeria itself. So that Nigerians will be true Nigerian citizens and will be able to keep the glory of education very high in our priority. They are giving all they have towards ensuring that the school is better than what it was in the past and how they met it even now and thinking about future for the school to make the school better than they met it. As the celebration drew to a close, the once boyish guests, now grown men, cut the anniversary cake. Paul George Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.